Hello and welcome to The Entrepreneurial Musician, a newsletter, coaching service, podcast, and blog preparing today's musicians for tomorrow's realities. This is TEM 278 titled, Everyone Starts as a Beginner. Thank you to Parker Mouthpieces for providing the hosting for TEM. Parker Mouthpieces offers fine, customizable component mouthpieces for horn, trombone, euphonium, and tuba, including the Andrew Hits Artist Model Tuba Mouthpiece. You can find out more at parkermouthpieces.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. A big thank you to everyone who has signed up for the TEM newsletter titled The Portfolio Career Playbook. I see all of you. Thank you very much. Get the tips, tricks, and tools needed to move your portfolio career forward delivered right to your inbox. I like to point out I will never share your email address with anyone because I'm not a monster. You can subscribe at any time, and I think you'll find the emails really helpful. The feedback I've gotten so far has been wonderful. If you sign up, you will also get free enrollment in an email course from TEM Coaching titled Six Avoidable Mistakes Musicians Make on Their Websites, otherwise known as Learn From My Mistakes and Save Yourself a Lot of Time, Energy, and Money. All right, TEM 278, everyone starts as a beginner. I have an accountability partner named Molly who serves as a coach for me. She is not a musician, but she is a fellow creator who puts a lot of stuff out into the world. She not only keeps me accountable, but also shares the occasional nugget of wisdom with me. It's something that she shared with me on this week's call was the inspiration for this episode. And I'm going to stick a shameless plug in here for my coaching services. Whether you get coaching from me or from someone else, in my experience, it has been invaluable to get regular feedback from someone who is not at all involved in making the things I'm making. She comes from a completely fresh perspective every time. She doesn't bring any attachment to ideas that are clearly no longer the best way forward like I can since after all it was my idea, not just my idea, but one that was good enough for me to remember it and then to start acting on it. When it's not your baby, you can very clearly see when something is not a good fit or not a good fit right now. Anyways, whether it is ongoing like I have with Molly or it is for a short, finite period to get guidance regarding a very specific thing, I can't recommend coaching any more highly. Okay, end shameless plug for me and for coaching in general, but I value my time with Molly every single week uh, an awful lot. So Molly shared with me a trick that you can do on YouTube. Go to any of your favorite creators. Chances are they are one of your favorites because they are quite good at delivering value through their videos, whatever that looks like. And that always comes from lots and lots of reps, or at least it almost always comes from lots of reps. But they weren't always this polished. Go to a creator's videos and sort by date added and then in parentheses oldest to see the very first video they ever posted to their channel. <laughs> Unless they previously had other channels where they got to figure everything out, these early videos are going to be rough compared to their most recent ones. That's because literally everyone starts out as a beginner. This is one of those points that in spite of it being painfully obvious, it still needs to be pointed out regularly. Because I don't know about you, but I can still act as if I should be, quote, further along with some creative process, when in fact what I'm really saying is that I deserve to skip the early reps when literally no one else has ever had that luxury. When I put it like that, or when Molly puts it like that, it sounds ridiculous, as it should. Is every single person's first YouTube video or first song they ever wrote equally cringy? No, that's not at all how it works. Some people find putting together cohesive videos more intuitive than others. Same goes for songwriting or playing the drums. The point here is that every single person gets better with intentional reps. Intentional meaning produced with care and with an active eye towards improving over time. This YouTube trick that Molly taught me is a great way to see in action that no one gets to skip the early reps, even the household names. There's an old adage that the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, and the second best time is today. That goes for getting your early reps out into the world as well. Start today, because the sooner you do, the more reps you'll put between your super green early efforts and the artist you will eventually grow into. Okay, this week's quote is from Bruce Lee. Quote, if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. 
Speaking personally, the reason I end up putting off getting started on something is never, literally never, because I'm not thinking about it enough. It's always because I spend too much time thinking about it. And there's an overwhelming chance that you are the exact same way since I don't think I've ever had a single TEM coaching client over all the years who hasn't been the same way. So rather than simply thinking about something for three months, all while feeling a little guilty during that time because of that voice in your head that occasionally pops up telling you that you really should just start the damn thing, instead of that, ask yourself this, how many reps of the thing could you get done during those three months instead? And how much more would you learn in those three months of iterating rather than in three months of just thinking hard? The choice is clear. For the love of all things holy, stop thinking about the thing and start doing the thing. You'll be very happy you did. Thank you to everyone for listening, subscribing, leaving a rating and a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get TEM. And simply for your attention, the most valuable commodity any of us have to give. TEM is produced by myself, Andrew Hitz, and is a part of the Pedal Note Media Podcast Network. The theme music for TEM is played by Ben Barron. Rich Kelly on trumpet, who I just played a gig with this past weekend up in Boston, which is the first time in a long time, and it made my soul very happy. Daniel LaPel and myself. For show notes, the TEM blog, and to learn more about TEM coaching, please visit our website, tem.fm. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And one more plug for the newsletter. I think you're going to dig it. And that's going to do it for the latest episode of The Entrepreneurial Musician. Thank you.